Let's go to yet another trending issue on social media, and that is on tuberculosis. 4.5 million Nigerians, according to the federal government, are at risk of contracting tuberculosis. It's such a, a very shocking figure, if you ask me. All right, 4.5 million Nigerians at risk of contracting tuberculosis. Also, tuberculosis kills 18 Nigerians every hour, making Nigeria the country with the highest in Africa, the highest number of deaths uh, related to tuberculosis in Africa. All right, let me quickly welcome to the program this afternoon our virtual guest who is joining us from uh, one of the roads in Ibadan, because I can see you are in a car. Mrs. Tony Afachong, she's the state coordinator of Your Breakthrough Action Nigeria. Good afternoon, ma'am. Thanks for taking the time to join us on the program today. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I love your me. smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to the show, Tori. All right, so let's talk about this issue of uh, tuberculosis. But before I, I have your take on it, let me just quickly give us like a background info on this whole tuberculosis thing. Now, a single person with untreated TB can infect between 10 to 15 people yearly. Of course, that's how we got to the figure of 4.5 million. All right, only 11% of persons with drug resistant uh, tuberculosis are on treatment, leaving 89% of them in the community untreated. That's so scary. And I did have a doctor on the show not too long ago telling me one in every three Nigerian actually has tuberculosis. So uh, the incidence of tuberculosis in Nigeria is very, very high. All right, so Toye, this figure, like I said earlier, is quite scary. All right, is there any way, any way we can actually uh, walk around this? And ensure that Nigerians live a good qualitative life uh, devoid of tuberculosis. What are the moves? What are the actions that we need to take at this point in time? Thank you for uh, this opportunity to talk to Nigerians and especially to my brothers and sisters in Oyo State where we actually work. Breakthrough Action Nigeria is supporting Oyo State government to increase them. when they get education about an issue they can take action and so what we are doing at breakthrough action is to be our brother's keeper we are working around communities the 33 lgas in oil state we are working with community volunteers with um uh, the lga teams in all the health workers that we have trained to inform people create that awareness in people that tb lives among us and so when people know that the next person that may be standing with me or by me may be infected with tb i will take action for example if you have a neighbor who has been coughing for the past two weeks you should be worried and refer such a person to the nearest health facility most health facilities are tb dot centers and so they treat tb and tb treatment is free it is free. People need to know that they don't have to pay any cobble. So if you have been coughing for two weeks, you should be worried. If your neighbor has been coughing for two weeks, you should be worried. If a family member has been coughing for two weeks on end, they've used all kinds of things, it's not going, they should be worried and they should go to the health center. So what we do is to go to the rural areas, to every nooks and cranny of our local communities, create awareness in people. And when people come forward to say, oh, I think you are talking to me. I think I'm, I may have TB, but I'm not sure. The samples are collected and sent to the TB dot centers where they are analyzed and they get back to the person to say, oh, truly you, you have been infected with TB or no, it's not TB, maybe it's something else because there are all kinds of cough that may look like TB. It's not every cough that is TB. But the slogan is check ammo. Until you check, you may not know what kind of cough you have. So we encourage that people should check out. If they have been coughing for the past two weeks, go and get tested. 
get to the health center, let your samples be your sputum be collected. Some persons may have to do uh, chest x-ray to know if it is a TB. Some don't have to. With the sputum, they may be able to know what exactly it is. And they get treated is a six month treatment, non-stop. After six months, you are tested again so that uh, they are sure that um, every traces of the TB infection has left the person. So that is what uh, the support we are providing to the TB program in Oyo State at Breakthrough Action Nigeria with support from USAID. Thank you. All right, great work you're doing there, Tony. But um, let me come in from the angle of the free treatment. I've had someone tell me before, uh, he was coughing continuously and consistently and had to go to a government hospital to get himself checked, okay? Uh, why I'm bringing this up is because you talked about the treatment being free. I want to know where does this free treatment actually start from? Because he told me he had to pay for tests. Tests had to be carried out. He paid for tests. And he went to the government hospital with the thinking that he was going to access everything for free. So really, where does this free treatment start? Is it after the test has ascertained that this cough is actually tuberculosis or from what stage really so that Nigerians get the right information? Once um, the person's sample is taken, from that point it is free. Up to the point that the person starts treatment, However, if the person requires further investigations, for example, an x-ray, you may have to pay for the chest x-ray, which is not free. If the person is coughing so much blood or, or, uh, or vomiting blood, uh, there is a treatment that um, the person has to be given to stop the blood before the, trip, the TB treatment. So I learned they pay certain amount for that at the hospitals. But the TB treatment itself, the drugs for six months is free. Everybody should know that it is free. But of course, the health worker would explain to the individual that, okay, we are found out that you have one or two things, or we require you to do some further investigations, which usually they are not even the ones who would carry that. They may refer the individual to a higher level of care to say, okay, go and do a chest x-ray, go and do, uh, go to this lab to do so, so and so. So for that, the person may have to pay. But the TB treatment itself, which is six months, a drug regimen is free. Everybody should know that. Wherever you, if anyone asks you to pay for TB drugs, then they are trying to scam the person. It is free. So the drugs for the treatment of TB, that is what is free for as long as it takes for the TB to be treated. All right, I had to let people know that. Now, very quickly, um, can you tell us the success rate of treating tuberculosis in Nigeria? Because according to available statistics, about 150,000 Nigerians died from tuberculosis in the year 2019. So what is the rate of success, really, of treating TB? I would like to put forward that um, one of the challenges we have had with um, treating TB or with TB clients is the uh, issues of stigma. There is a stigma associated with, it, with illnesses generally. And so when someone has TB, he's trying to hide he doesn't want his neighbor to know that he's been treated for TB. And so a lot of the times people fail to complete the treatment. It's a long treatment, six months. But during the, uh, before they start treatment, usually they are counseled. The client is counseled to know that if you do well, if you complete your treatment, you will be well, and you wouldn't have to uh, come back here because you won't have the infection anymore after six months of not failing to use your drugs you'll be fine but we have failure rate because people fail to complete treatment and that is why when somebody is on tb is going to be started on tb treatment they are asked to bring a trusted 
person from their family or friend. Somebody is asked to accompany them because they need support. The support of, oh, have you eaten? Have you used your drugs today? When is the next one? Uh, have you come? Because they, they don't give you the six months regimen at once. They may give you for one month, you, uh, you go back and collect for the next month and so on and so forth. So as you go to the facility, you are, they continue to counsel you, they talk to you, and the support system is also counseled to continue to support the individual. It is not easy to take a treatment for six months. So we know. So when we have failure rate, it is because people usually fail along the line. They don't complete the treatment. But if you complete the treatment for six months, you are home and dry. The person is home and dry. And then the success rate it should be high, really, if people are able to adhere to the treatment and uh, they complete it. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time, uh, actually breaking your journey to join us on the program this afternoon. We do appreciate that. She is the state coordinator of your Breakthrough Action Nigeria. Thank you again, Tony Afachong. All right, back into the studios. Dr. Madika, you've been listening to the conversation. Yeah, but you know, I, 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 I love what he said. Uh, what he said when you said, he said, Nigeria is the first mm. uh, when you talk about the number of uh, casualties. Mm -hmm. Uh, in most negative things nowadays, Nigeria is always the first, except the bad governance <laughs> system, which is the last. So, but that, that, that is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a very unfortunate thing because from healthcare to all aspects of our life, we're all talking about the same thing. I just talked about you, the traffic we had. So, I think the, the, the good thing is that, yes, there is um, a free treatment, but my problem is that when you go to abroad and you are diagnosed, a TV, you're not allowed to go even back to your people. Mm. No, you stay you, back. You stay back. Mm. They will keep you and ensure that your treatment is taken. They can collect every of your data, your nest of kin, they can call them, but you're not allowed. You're quarantined. Mm. You know, you're not to mix with people because they know that TB is a very serious, uh, you know, um, infectious uh, disease. But in Nigeria, for somebody, you said, okay, you have it. Okay, go back home, go and do X-ray, um, go and do this test, go and do. This. At that time, and you're affecting, yes, you're affecting other people. So it, it's, it's, this is the only area I'm not really happy about. Our thing should be practical. We should be able to look at them from the perspective of how is it going to affect others? Because by going to do X-ray, he's coming back to the home again and he is mixing with people, he eats the same, with the same spoon and every other thing. So the whole thing we galvanize to, uh, you know, you want to solve a problem. You ended up solving... You know, in Nigeria, problem. we just have this mentality that nothing do us. Amen to that, nothing do us. Yes, yes. You know, but we carry that attitude, that mentality into literally yes, everything yeah. that we do, even our health yeah, and all I, that. Yeah, mm. the government should go for that. Once you are diagnosed, mm. they should be able to take care of those things. Because yeah. that, what is it that citizens can earn, uh, you know, enjoy as a... As but a, I'm, you know. I'm at least excited about the fact that treatment from day one to, you know, it's, when, when it's, you're good, it's, it's free. It's just to tell you. It's not true. Really? Like, yeah, it's not. It's, it's, it's easy to say, but when you get there, there are some drugs that will tell you it's not there. It's not available. It's not available. So, and your, 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 your family member well, will I not live. I've not had like a first time. I, I, I have somebody, I have somebody that okay. went to a bar door and he spent almost six months. Mm. Okay. Uh, and uh, I, I, if he, he recalls the, uh, what he went through, it's, it's not a good experience. Because okay. uh, it's not a good experience. Because some drugs is not, and most of the drugs are very expensive. Mm. Uh, no, some of these drugs, Nigeria waits for donor countries. They don't buy. These are the problem. It's only the NGO that supply this. Uh, this is, uh, these okay. are the issues. All right, like I said earlier, this must be taken quite seriously. According to the federal government, 4.5 million Nigerians are at risk of contracting tuberculosis. Tuberculosis kills 18 Nigerians every hour, all right? And we are the country with the highest, highest burden uh, of death from tuberculosis in Africa, and we are number six globally, all right? According to estimates from the World Health Organization, global report of 2020, tuberculosis kills 18 Nigerians every hour. 47 Nigerians develop active tuberculosis every hour while seven of them are children in 2019 
about 150,000 Nigerians died from tuberculosis. So let's not get careless. Tuberculosis is spread through the air when the person with TB of the lungs, when that person coughs, sneezes, sings, or even talks, all right? So let's be knowledgeable about tuberculosis. Go online, read up about it, and arm yourself, okay, with that knowledge. Because like a doctor friend of mine told me, one out of every three Nigerian has tuberculosis. I mean, that's scary.